Hi, in this video I'll be introducing the concepts of annihilation and pair production. As I mentioned in my video about particles and antiparticles, when a particle and its equivalent antiparticle meet, they will both disappear and are replaced with two photons of energy. This is called annihilation. First, let's discuss a concept called rest energy. Energy and mass are interchangeable according to Einstein's equation E equals mc squared. This has got a couple of consequences. Firstly, a moving particle has got more energy than a stationary one, so it must also have a higher mass. More importantly, for understanding annihilation, an object at rest must have a rest energy equal to mc squared. Annihilation is an example of the equivalence of mass and energy. The mass of the particle-antiparticle pair is converted into energy, according to E equals mc squared, in the form of photons. The reason why two photons travelling in opposite directions are released is to ensure that momentum is conserved. The minimum energy released from annihilation will be equal to the combined rest energy of the particle-antiparticle pair. This energy is shared between the two photons. This means that the minimum energy of each photon produced is equal to the rest energy of either the particle or the antiparticle. Note that this is the minimum energy because if the particles were not at rest, their energy would be higher than the rest energy. If we use the equation E equals HF, we can determine the minimum frequency of the photons that would be produced. The opposite of annihilation is pair production. In pair production, a single photon turns into a particle-antiparticle pair. If we know the rest mass and therefore the rest energy of this antiparticle pair, we can determine the minimum energy of the photon that would be required to produce it. Note that this time, because it is a single photon turning into a particle-antiparticle pair, the photon requires twice the rest energy of the single particle. For example, an electron has a rest energy of 0 0.511 mega electron volts. What is the minimum energy of a photon required uh, to, to produce an electron-positron pair? We know that the minimum energy of a photon is twice the rest energy, so therefore the minimum energy is equal to 2 times 0 0.511 mega electron volts, giving us a rest energy of 1.022 mega electron volts. Or in joules, this is 1.64 multiplied by 10 to the power of minus 13 joules. So if we have a single photon with at least this energy, it is possible for it to form a, po a positron-electron pair through pair production. Thank you for watching this video from Cowan Physics. If you found it useful, please like, subscribe, and visit cowanphysics.com.